right. Hey, what's up, you guys? My name's Andrew, and I'm going to be going over all of the aftercare videos and sort of like how to really succeed after going to a psychedelic retreat like Cellular Wellness. And so this stuff is going to be stuff you can immediately apply, and I'm going to do my best to answer all the questions that our uh, retreat goers typically have. And... Yeah, we'll kind of start from there. And to really uh, recap everything from the retreat, you should have got like an email about two days after the retreat with a link to this video and also with an opportunity to join our WhatsApp group, which is all of our alumni. I mean, it's like a celebration in there for all the alumni that's graduated the retreat over the years. And it's a really great and really positive group for support and for connection with uh, similar and like-minded pe people. So it's a great community. And there's also a link in there to leave us a review on Google if you had a really great experience with us. And so without further ado, let's get started with this. And so, you know, leaving the retreat, everyone's going to be at a different place you know, going through this program. And so I like to sort of explain a couple of things that are uh, kind of like an overview of the whole spectrum of what it looks like to kind of leave after an experience like this. Because when you go into this, it's like going into an egg, we're going to be incubated. You know, you're leaving your city, you're leaving typically your family, you're leaving your environment, your work and everything else. And you're going to a retreat to transform and to change yourself. And that's a beautiful offering and a beautiful experience to do that because you get to go into new new space with new people and explore new ideas and new versions of yourself and you sort of burst open and this is what we call breakthrough and this happens on different levels of your emotions of your perspectives in life and of course your commitments about like how you want to move forward and live your life from here on out after the retreat and so you know, that's the typical overview of what a retreat is like. And so going back home is like taking all those new ideas, those new perspectives, and those also commitments that are like action steps to take after you head back home and actually implementing them, you know, finding ways to cement those changes back into your life after you head back home. And so that these changes that you made at the retreat stay with you perpetually forever, right? And so... First off, congratulations on becoming the next version of yourself. And, you know, whenever this, uh, like, really transformational experience that our psychedelic experiences happen, the result or the outcome is different for everyone, like I mentioned. And so, you know, coming out of this, it's very important to have, like, a clear North Star about what you'd like to accomplish as far as next steps moving forward. And so one of the things that we work with at the retreat is sort of like what your commitment is. You know, we start the retreat with an intention and you leave the retreat with a commitment. And so I want you to think about what that commitment is for yourself and sort of what you'd like to accomplish in the next couple weeks or the next couple months, whatever makes the most sense for you, whatever you'd like to choose as far as sort of the direction you'd like to head in in life. I and mean, that'll really help this whole process of integration because whenever you have that North Star, then it's really easy to kind of put the pieces and put the building blocks together to really accomplish that and move your life into that new direction. You know, when and include your family and include your friends, include, you know, the things that you'll be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And it could be personal goals. It could be... Um, you know, just a very generalized goal, like you want to, you know, just wake up feeling happy every day or, you know, watch the sunrise in the morning or, you know, it could be something, you know, tangible, like, you know, going to the gym, exercising, losing some weight, you know, working out a couple times a week, starting a new meditation practice. Uh, it could be getting a new job for some people. So these are all very common things and commitments that uh, people tend to make after leaving the treat. So I'll give you just a a minute or two just kind of think about that and reflect on and see what that might look like for you as far as um, you know what would be the best way for you to move forward from this All right, so as far as the next steps, I want you to crystallize that goal in your mind. I want you to bring it out of your mind into your heart and just accept it as true, accept it as your new reality. 
and include the feelings of that goal being accomplished with it. And when you feel that's complete, you can give it a minute, then we'll take the next steps and we'll move forward from here. Beautiful, amazing. So first off, for this next step, I wanna congratulate all of you for a job well done and doing something incredible for yourself. You literally flew across the world to typically another country and you set yourself into a new environment to have an, a new experience that you had no idea what was going to happen. You had no idea what the outcome was going to be. And so that takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of will. And it just takes a really awesome person to do that because you're doing something amazing for yourself. And you're investing that time and energy into yourself in order to make a wonderful change. And so that's a huge accomplishment in itself. And so let's talk about how to really integrate that experience in your life and get the outcomes that um, you expected to get out of this wonderful experience. And so, um, you know, when it comes to expectations, everyone, you know, leaving their treat at different spaces emotionally, uh, at different spaces with like their next steps in life. And, you know, sometimes we get everything we want. Sometimes we don't think we have it yet. Well, um, from doing hundreds of these, I used to work in the program and, you know, monitor all, all the aftercare. And after seeing hundreds and hundreds, I mean, I still keep in contact with people years after these experiences. And some people took like six months for that fruit to sort of blossom into their life of the change and the transformation that happened at the retreat. And so I've seen this so many times. I actually remember when I first came on board, there was a doctor that came to us and uh, he had uh, lost one of his patients. It was really just a, kind of a freak accident. It wasn't that him that was responsible for this, but it still kind of affected him. And he came to the retreat and he wanted to sort of heal from this and move forward in his life and just get back to living his life, working. He was kind of taking time off work to heal. Um, he was like separating himself from his family because he didn't feel like he was like mentally or emotionally in that place where um, he felt like it was adding to them. He just wanted to kind of be by himself. Well, when he came to their treat, you know, he was ready and willing to make a change. He went through this experience and, you know, uh, he left the retreat and he was, you know, sort of just in a state of, he had his first time doing psychedelics. Uh, he was very kind of, uh, it's like, it was scary for him. You know what I'm saying? Like losing control, you know, facing these emotions that have been kind of stirring on the inside for so many years in life. And I think it was a very difficult change for him, a very difficult experience for him. And leaving the experience, he continued to work with our psychotherapist and, you know, continued working through those emotions that sort of came up. And what ultimately happened in his life is, you know, we kept talking, me and him. And as things move forward, six months down the line, he had basically got his entire life back. He got clarity on what he needed to get clarity on about his experience. He let that stuff go. He had moved forward. He's been traveling to Mexico. He's going to beaches, taking his family with him, uh, just enjoying his life. He's back teaching at a college, at a university again. Uh, he's working as, uh, he's a, uh, a surgeon and just working his butt off and just enjoying his passion again. And, you know, he's one of those people that, really was kind of having a tough time right after the retreat, but he got everything that he asked for. He got everything that he wanted. And so, you know, I use that as like an example because it was so like crystal clear to me uh, because that was my first experience at the retreat. And I was like, wow, not everybody leaves this feeling like just this ball full of bliss and joy and everything else, but they sure do get amazing life and amazing transformation after going through an experience like this. And so I say that so that you take a little bit of time, take a little bit of patience to sort of understand uh, what the meaning of that experience is for you and really, you know, give it time to come to fruition. Because one of the things that mushrooms really do, the psilocybin, is they're messengers. It's a tool for communication where they basically use symbols, they use ideas, they use even emotions to translate meaning about things that we have the opportunity to change within ourselves. And so whatever message you got in your experience, whatever emotions came up, whatever things that you saw, it's a message. And it's not necessarily anything that's cement in life where it's just going to be, you know, uh, if it was something difficult, it's not, it's not going to be around forever. If you're still kind of have, you know, perpetrating purpose, <laughs> excuse me, like, uh, like, you know, if you still have persistent emotions from the experience that will continue to process and you'll continue to let those go. And so, 
let that process be natural and let that process continue. And, um, and then continue to reflect on what that message was and, and help yourself. Help yourself by taking action on the insight and the ideas that come as you continue to move forward in life. And so the final thing I want to close for today's session is I want you to journal and sort of just reflect on you know, what you gained at the retreat. Because anytime you go through something, you're going to have ups and downs with emotions, any kind of transformational experience. If you want to run a marathon, you're going to have days where you don't feel great. You're going to have days where you feel wonderful. You're going to have days that are just like average and just humdrum. I want you to reflect on what you really got out of the retreat and how you can really use this experience as a tool to move forward and continue to like just let those benefits just gestate in your mind, just kind of dance around inside of you until they burst through with other ideas about how this experience is making your life better and better and better, right? And even that question is wonderful to, you know, spark your imagination. It's like, how can this experience, how can I view this experience through a better and better lens, through a more beautiful and brighter future? How can I use this experience to catalyze greatness and to expand this beautiful experience of myself into this world that I'm stepping back into? And so I'll leave you with that. Enjoy writing a couple of things down. I hope this quick video is kind of sparking some ideas from you and helping you reflect and helping you kind of dive deeper into the richness that is your experience because a psychedelic journey is you experiencing yourself and you have an opportunity to see more of what you have on the inside and you are so beautiful and you have so much to give and so much honor that you have gone through in order to find yourself in this way. So what a beautiful gift. I hope you enjoy the rest of these videos and I'll talk with you guys soon.